Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the nephrotic syndrome. The most important function of the kidneys is to remove the waste materials from the blood. But when this function gets disrupted due to some disease process or any other abnormality, the result is the accumulation of these waste materials in the body fluids. When we see the definition of the nephrotic syndrome, it says that it is actually a type of kidney disease which is characterized by the increased glomerular permeability. Glomerulus is a tuft of capillaries which lies in the head of the nephron and it is the part which filters out the waste materials out of the uh, blood into the urine. But in nephrotic syndrome, this permeability of, uh, of glomerulus is increased. Due to this increased permeability, uh, the glomerulus allows other materials to filter out also, uh, like the blood proteins, which results in massive proteinuria, uh, which is the presence of large amounts of proteins in the urine. Now moving towards the clinical manifestations, uh, sorry, the clinical findings. The first and foremost, uh, the most important clinical finding in the nephrotic syndrome is the proteinuria that is the presence of uh, proteins in the urine second is the hypoalbuminemia which is the low levels of albumin in the blood since albumin is a blood protein and blood proteins are continuously uh, thrown out of the blood in a nephrotic syndrome the hypoalbuminemia results the next is the hyperlipidemia which is the increased levels of lipids in the blood Next is the high serum cholesterol, which is the abnormally high levels of uh, cholesterol in the blood. Now moving to the, towards the pathophysiology. First, there is the glomerular damage uh, due to some disease or any other abnormality, which results in the increased permeability of the glomerulus towards blood proteins. That is, blood proteins are allowed to move out of the blood into the urine, which results in the hypoproteinemia that is the low levels of blood proteins this hypoproteinemia results in the decreased plasma oncotic pressure oncotic pressure is a type of osmotic pressure which is maintained in the blood by the blood proteins when the blood proteins are lost through the urine the plasma oncotic pressure gets decreased which results in the fluid shifts in the body and the result is the edema Edema is the abnormal accumulation of fluid in the body parts. Also due to this, due to this hypoproteinemia, the liver starts the compensatory synthesis of proteins. That is to compensate the loss of proteins, the liver star, uh, increases the synthesis of blood proteins, which later results in the hyperlipidemia. Now the clinical manifestations. Most important clinical manifestation in the nephrotic syndrome is the edema which is usually pitting that is the when we apply pressure over the uh, edema site there remains a dimple, a dimple on the edema site for some time the next clinical manifestation is the ascites ascites is the accumulation of uh, large amounts of fluid in the peritoneal cavity the others are irritability headache and malaise now how can we assess and diagnose the uh, nephrotic syndrome first finding is the proteinuria which is the which is the presence of protein in the urine and that uh, is the 3.5 grams per day it is a hallmark diagnosis of the nephrotic syndrome the next is the urine may also contain increased wbcs and granular and epithelial costus as a result of increased permeability of uh, glomerulus the doctor may also recommend a needle biopsy of a renal tissue for histological examination to confirm the diagnosis of nephrotic syndrome now what is the medical management for nephrotic syndrome the medical management in nephrotic syndrome is uh, focused towards the underlying cause uh, the cause which increases the permeability of the glomerulus in the nephrons diuretics or the which are also called as the water pills uh, are recommended on nephrotic syndrome to relieve edema diuretics increase the water outflow in the kidneys and the edema is reduced 
next the ACE inhibitors angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors are used or recommended uh, for the patients of nephrotic syndrome to reduce the blood pressure and uh, to uh, reduce the protein that there is a loss of uh, proteins in the urine lipid lowering agents or statins are used to reverse the uh, high concentration of lipids in the urine sorry in the blood low salt diet is recommended to decrease the retention of uh, fluid in the body now the nursing management first we have to assess the location and character of the patient's edema we have to see the parts where the edema is present and we have to see its character whether it is pitting edema or non-pitting edema if the doctor orders for a renal biopsy after the renal biopsy we have to monitor the patient for uh, signs of bleeding or the signs of shock we have also monitor we have to also monitor patient's intake and output intake and output is very important because it gives us the clue about the fluid retention uh, we have to provide also the uh, skin care to the patient because the patient is hospitalized there is uh, there are increased chances uh, that the uh, skin may get broken down due to the uh, growth of bacteria and other pathogens so we have to provide the skin care to the patient we have to give reassurance and support to the patient and his family uh, who are in anxiety because the because the anxiety aggravates the disease process and uh, we have to give support and reassurance to, first to the patient and then to his family we also have to instruct the patient about the importance of taking medications at right time and uh, the following and the importance of following the dietary regimens the diet which is recommended for the patient of nephrotic syndrome by a dietitian thank you that was all about the nephrotic syndrome